Alrighty, everybody, welcome to class. If we want to come to our mat space, draw the knees out wide into child's pose. Now begin to close the eyes, reaching as far forwards to the mat as you can. Bring your forehead to the ground here. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And in your child's pose, just feel the length through the spine as you reach towards the front of the mat. Start to breathe in and out of your nose. Try to push your hips deeper back into your heels. Feeling that lovely long stretch down your lats, the outside of your arms and your armpits. And just start to take deep breaths in and out. Ujjayi breathing. So we're trying to force that breath out as we exhale. Reaching the hands over to the left. Okay, keeping as low to the ground as you can. Keep the forehead on the floor. If you want to go deeper, take your right hand, place it over your left. Press the shoulders and the elbows down deep to the floor. So we're lengthening the muscles, connecting with our breath as we warm up. Take a big inhale, reach over to the other side, over to the right hand side. Also going deeper if you want, left hand over right hand. Square the shoulders, square the elbows to the floor. Finding two breaths here, maybe wiggle the toes. One more breath. Good, then wander the hands back to the center. Five breaths, inhaling, lifting the arms off the floor. Exhaling, settle them back down. Use your breath to flow, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, two more breaths. Sealing the lips, breathing in and out of the nose. One more breath. Nice work, everybody. Good, on your next inhale, rising up to tabletop, stacking the shoulders over the hands, okay? Knees in line with your hip. Working through that lovely thoracic twist, take an inhale, right hand up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring the shoulder and the cheek to the floor. Keep the hips in line. Inhale, reaching up to the ceiling, opening the spine. Good, exhale, shoulder and cheek to the floor. One more time on the right side. Inhale, lifting up. Good, exhale, twist and lower the shoulder, the cheek. Now with your left hand, reach into the front of your mat to go a little bit deeper. Good, breathing here, finding that nice twisty, juicy twist in the spine. Good, breathe. Good, two, and one. Come back to center, push yourself up. Inhale, left arm to the ceiling. Twisting through the spine. Exhale, shoulder, cheek to the floor. Notice your hips, keep your hips in the same position. Inhale, lift up, twist. Look up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower. Now with the elbow that's staying firmly on the, or the hand that's staying firmly on the floor, keep that elbow up if you can, okay? Inhale, reach up. Last time, exhale, lower and twist. Okay, once we've got that shoulder, the cheek to the floor, reach the right arm forwards to, to the front of your mat. Breathe here, relax the hands. Three, two, good, everybody. One, bring the hand back to center. Come back to tabletop, then sit back onto your heels. Take an inhale, interlace the fingers above your head. Push up to the ceiling, lift the chin, look up. Ground through with the toes on the back for three. Open up that chest for two and one. Take an inhale, reach a little bit higher. Exhale, open the chest, cactus arms. Good, four more rounds of breath like this. Inhale, reach up, interlace those fingers. Exhale, open your chest, push it towards me, opening your arms as wide as you can, lovely. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open. Cactus arms or W arms. Good, two more rounds of breath. Inhale, reach up. Lift through that spine. Exhale, open. 
Last round of cactus breathing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open the chest. Lovely work. You would then continue, bring those hands back to your knees. Moving through seated cat cow, take a breath in, push your chest forward, lift the chin up, find that gentle back bend. Good, and then draw the breath out into cat pose. So we're rounding through our spine, keep your hands on your knees. Inhale, draw the chest forwards, squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze the elbows as far back as you can. And then exhale the breath through. Good, four more rounds of breath, breathing like this. Seated cat cow, which is great for your spine flexion and extension, lifting up that chin as you take the breath in. And then as you draw the breath out, find that cat, cat pose. Good, two more rounds of breath, everybody. Inhale, chin up, shoulders back, chest forwards. Good, draw the breath out, chin tucks in as much as you can. Create that lovely rounding pose with the spine. Last breath, inhale, chin up, shoulders back, chest forwards. Good, and then draw the breath out, cat pose, nice job. Hands into tabletop. We're gonna tuck our toes, okay? Draw the knees six inches off the floor. Now make sure you're pressing into the heels, okay? So feel that lovely stretch through the tiptoes. Now remember your shoulders, push the shoulders away from the ground. We're not slumping into our shoulders, we're pushing them high. Good, breathe here for three. Nice flat spine for two. Good for one. Extend the legs all the way back. Can you bring the heels to the floor? Downward facing dog. Once you're in with your downward dog, just find that nice spot between the mat, okay? Feet, hips distance apart, that should feel really nice, okay? Getting back into our practice, spreading the fingers wide, tuck the chin into the chest, you're gazing to the back of your room. Keep the downward dog moving, so you're bending the legs, then straightening, okay? Hips are as high as you can. Don't look at your thumbs, look at your toes. Draw that head inward, push the shoulders away from your ears. Try to fan out your armpits, okay? Outwardly rotate the elbows. Good, and then come to stillness. Take an inhale, look at your hands. Press the heels back as you exhale, walk the hands back as well. Coming into nice ragdoll pose. Good, release those elbows. Find a bit of swinging right and left, releasing that lower spine. Releasing the head, the neck, the shoulders. Let it all hang nice and loose. Good, everybody. Nice gentle inversion. Breathing here, maybe lifting up the toes away from the floor. Relax that head. Two more rounds of breath. Ujjayi breathing is breathing in and out of the nose. So we're sealing the lips for practice. One more round of breath. Nice job, release your hands and then roll all the way up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Keep your hands connected to the knees, up over the thighs, and then come to standing, hands by your side, Tadasana standing pose. Now look down at your toes, lift them up and then take them down one by one. Start with the outside and move inward, big toe last. One more time, lift up those toes, start with the pinky toe. And then moving through to center, big toe stands down last. Just see how far you spread those toes already. Good, hands by your side, close your eyes, relax all the shoulders, relax the legs. We're gonna do three counts of breath, okay? Draw that breath in, big breath. Exhale. Two more breaths, big breath in. Good, exhale. One more round of breath. Nice job, everybody. Reach the arms up, inhale, Tadasana. Press the hands together. Exhale, fold through heart center, Uttanasana. Keep the hands on the floor, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, rise those hands up through the spine. Flatten that spine, look down. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, hands to the toes. Connect back with that breathing, everybody. Take an inhale, wander the hands to the top of your mat, finding your high plank. Good, squeeze that core. Belly button sucked into spine in three. Spread the fingers in two. Look at your feet, make sure they're hip distance apart. Good, for one. 
Bend the knees, lower your chest all the way to the floor. So keep those elbows tucked in as far towards the ribs as you can. Once the belly touches the floor, press the feet into the ground. Inhale, lift up to cobra. Good, exhale, chest to the floor. Tuck your toes, inhale, push all the way back up to that high plank. Nice job. Breathing here for three, working into those triceps, the biceps for two. And one, downward facing dog. Remember our downward dog, chin is into chest. Nice and steady in three. Breathing in, breathing out in two. Good, in one, take an inhale, look at the hands. Exhale, hands to feet, send the heels down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on shins, flattening that spine. Exhale, hands back to toes, bend the knees. Sweep up, Tadasana, standing tall as we inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms, opening that chest, push the chest forward, shoulders back. Good, inhale, reach back up, Tadasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, airplane the arms behind you if you can. Good, exhale, hands to your toes, tuck that chin in. Inhale, wander the hands forward, walking out to our high plank. Good, breathing here, three counts of breath. Warming up those shoulders, remember don't slump down into the shoulders, push them away, tuck the pelvis in. Good, two more breaths. One more breath, nice job everyone. And then gently drop the knees down. Good, take an inhale, lift the chin, look forwards. Exhale with Chaturanga in from here. So lower down halfway. Fold over the tops of your feet or push them into the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good, exhale, downward facing dog. Chin into chest, nice work. Take an inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Point the toes up, three leg down dog. Holding it here. Look at the left toes planted into the floor. Point the right toes up in two. Good, in one, inhale, look forward, send the foot forwards. Exhale, drop the left knee to the floor. So broken crescent lunge. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up, press the hands together. Now with your hips, push the hips forwards. Okay, so we're creating that lovely extension with our hip flexor on the left side. You should feel that nice stretch, okay? Looking up, gentle back bend, reach up high, extend through the spine. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Good, inhale, right, oh, sorry, left leg lifted up. Good, send the breath away, exhale. Be strong in your front leg, inhale, reach up. Crescent lunge or Anjali Asana. So hopefully you're gonna learn a few poses in Sanskrit as we work together, okay? Now with your back leg, make sure it's straight, or as straight as you can be. Heel is lifted directly up. Notice the front bend in your front leg, okay? Or the 90 degree bend in your front leg. Keep held nice and strong. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, hands frame your foot. Good, take an inhale, step the right foot back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, so full chaturanga, I'll talk you through it. Lower down halfway, squeeze those elbows in. Press the tops of the feet into the floor, upward facing dog. Push the shoulders back. Good, exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, everybody. Inhale, lift your left leg as high as you can, three leg down dog. Push the shoulders away from your ears, tuck the chin in, look at your right toes. Good, pointing those left toes as high as you can. Keep the weight even in both hands, spread the fingers wide, one more round of breath. Take an inhale, look forwards and step forwards. Good, exhale, drop the back knee, untuck the toes, broken crescent lunge, inhale, reach the arms up. Good, find that stretch on our right hip flexor now, pressing the hands together. What I like to do is cross the thumbs together as well and reach up, find that nice connection. Squeeze the core. Good, one more round of breath. Take an inhale, lift a little bit high. Can you squeeze your ears? Exhale, hands frame the left foot. Good, inhale, right knee lifted off the floor. Good, exhale, take that breath. Inhale, crest and lunge, Anjali Asana, reaching the arms above the shoulders. Again, hands together. 
Now notice one side you might be a little bit stronger at. Lift up through the hips. Now with your, with your um, ribs, excuse me, kind of curl them inwards, okay? So feeling that core lock. Good, press those hands tighter together. Reach up through the spine. One more round of breath. Exhale, hands to the floor. Good. Inhale, shift that left foot back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Good, squeeze the elbows as you lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work, everybody. So we're working on our fundamentals, our base poses. Moving with the breath, take an inhale, right leg lifted up. Three leg down dog. Exhale, look forward, step forward, drop your back knee down. Untuck the toes, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Getting high, inhale, lift the left knee off the ground. Crescent lunge. Exhale, hands frame your foot. Good, inhale, right foot back, coming into that high plank. Exhale, coming through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. See if you could do this left side with your eyes closed. Take an inhale, lift your left leg up. Three leg down dog. Exhale, look forward, step between the hands, drop your back knee down. Go on guys, I'm doing it too. Inhale, reach the arms up, challenges your balance a little bit more. Exhale, hands to the floor, frame the left foot. Inhale, right knee lifted up, find that balance. This is the challenging pose if you're doing it with your eyes closed. Coming into crest and lunge under on the asana. Inhale, reach up a little bit higher. Exhale, hands frame the left foot. Inhale, send the left foot back, high plank. And chaturanga, nice job. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You're going to take two rounds of breath. In downward facing dog, wiggle the head left and right, tuck the chin in. One more round of breath. Moving through, inhale, right leg off the floor, three leg down dog. Exhale, look forward, step through, coming into warrior two. So drop the back ankle down at 90 degrees. Wing the arms out to the side, thumbs pointing up, look forwards, okay? Check, you can see your big toe. Good, one more round of breath. Take an inhale, flip that front palm. Exhale, reach back, reverse warrior. So we're just moving that torso, find that right side stretch. Inhale, back to warrior two. Good, exhale, cart with the hands down to the floor. Send the right foot back, but coming all the way onto our left side. Left side plank, float up. Stack the feet or place the right foot in front of the left in three. Push those hips up, imagine you're pulling your hips through the spine in two. Good, in one, come into high plank, take an inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, left leg, three leg down dog, lifting it up. Exhale, step through, open up to warrior two on the left side. Again, check the alignment, check you can see your big toe in front of you. Relax those shoulders, one more round of breath. Take an inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reaching back, reverse. Moving that torso only, guys. Keep the bend in the front knee. Inhale, warrior two arms. Exhale, cut with the hands to the floor. Send that left foot back and then roll over to the right side. Good, side plank on the right. Nice job, everyone. Sorry, I didn't say this on the first side, but if side plank with stacked feet is too difficult, just take that knee to the floor. Let, make sure you're pushing the hips towards me. Good, one more round of breath. Look up to the ceiling. Take an inhale, shifting forwards, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, let's go. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Working into that spinal twist flow, take an inhale. Lift the right knee off the floor, three leg dog. Exhale, step forwards, Anjali Asana or crescent lunge, reaching those arms above the head. Good, take an inhale, bring your hands to heart center. And then as you exhale, lean forwards, keep the feet in the same position. We're gonna hook the left elbow 
to the outside of the right knee. As we hook that side, we're gonna press into the hands, lift the chin, look up to the ceiling in three. If you need to drop the back knee down for extra support, go ahead, drop that back knee in two. Nice job. Relax your right bottom cheek. Good, in one more breath. Take an inhale, float the hands to the floor. Exhale, send the right foot back, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Alexa, stop. Inhale, left leg, let's go. Three leg dog. Exhale, look forwards. Good job, guys. Step through, unjani asana, reaching the arms above the shoulders. Take an inhale, reach a little bit high, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Find that balance, nice. Inhale, lean forwards. Good, exhale, let's hook the, the right elbow on the outside of your left knee, pressing the hands together. Now notice, once you find that connection with the hands, Top hand pushing up into up, up, sorry, bottom hand pushing into top hand, top hand pushing into bottom, okay? Push the hands away from you so you're opening through the chest. Good, sink the hips forwards. Relax that left bottom cheek. Nice job, everyone. One more breath. Inhale back to center, hands to the floor. Exhale, left foot, shoot it back, high plank. Good, shift forwards. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, two rounds of breath. One more round of breath. So putting those three sequences together, using your breath to flow. If you fall out of sync, don't worry. Rejoin when you can. Take an inhale, right leg lifted up. Three leg down dog. Exhale, look forward, step through, drop the back knee down. Broken crescent lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Good. Exhale, hands to the floor. Bring that front foot. Here we go, everybody. Tuck the back toes under. Inhale, lift up, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right foot back, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, shift forwards. Upward facing dog. Push those shoulders back. Push the chest up. Exhale, roll over those toes, downward facing dog. Nice, left leg, inhale, lift it high, three leg down dog, keep the weight even in your hands. Exhale, look forward, step through, drop the back knee. Nice job, everyone. Inhale, reach the arms up, lift up, hips forwards and down. Exhale, hands frame the front foot. Inhale, right knee, lift it up. Crescent lunge, Anjani Asana, lifting height, looking up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, Vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good job, everybody. Exhale, down facing dog. Second sequence, inhale, right leg, lift it high. Exhale, step through, warrior two. Bring those arms out, thumbs up, big toe. Let's look down, make sure you can see it. Inhale, flip the front palm up. Exhale, reach back, reverse. High-fiving the back wall. Inhale, back to warrior two arms. Exhale, cut all the hands down. Come onto your left side plank all the way up and around. Lift the chin, look up. Drop that left knee down if you need to. Two more rounds of breath. Can you come into star pose where we lift the top leg? Go on, give it a go. One more round of breath. Nice job. Take an inhale, high plank, shifting forwards. Exhale, vinyasa. Good job, everybody. Use your breath to flow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, three leg down dog. Lift up, point the toes. Keep the weight even in your hands. Exhale, look forwards. Open up, warrior two. So warrior two is a big long stance. Find one more round of breath. Inhale, flip your front palm. Exhale, reach back. Left side body should feel the lovely long stretch here. Inhale, warrior two arms. 
Exhale, float the hands down or cartwheel them down to the floor. Turn the hips forwards. Inhale, come onto your right side plank. Yes, everybody, nice job. Push those hips a little bit higher if you can. Stacking hands over shoulders. Come on, two pounds of breath, lift that top leg off the floor and star, nice. One more round of breath, inhale. Exhale, foot down, high plank, good job. Woo! Inhale, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Hips up, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, let's catch our breath here. Take two counts of breath in downward facing dog. Keep those hips as high as you can. One more round of breath. Inhale, float your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, step through. Anjani Asana, press and lunge, reaching the arms above the head. Good, remember those ribs. Let's not spray them open. Let's curl them inward, okay? So you feel the core lock in as you go. Reach the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Begin to press into your hands even here. Find that nice connection. Take an inhale, lean forwards Good. with the torso. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Find that nice connection, everybody. Again, don't take the hands close towards you. Push them away. Open that space. Keep pressing. Top to bottom, bottom to top. In two, look up to the sky <laughs> or to the ceiling. In one, inhale, hands to the floor. Frame your right foot. Good. Exhale, send it back. High plank. Ooh, we've done a lot of planking today. Good job. Shift your weight forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last side, here we go. Inhale, left leg, reach it up. Three leg down dog. Exhale, look forward. Press the lunge, reach the arms above the head. Good, take an inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Make sure that back leg is as straight as you can, ground with the front foot. Inhale, lean forwards. Exhale, right elbow, outside of left knee. Push those hands together. Just like we talked about, push the hands away from you. Keep that nice firm connection. The further you twist and lift the chin, the more benefits you're giving to your spine. One more round of breath. Good, everybody. Take an inhale, hands to the floor, frame the left foot. Exhale, step it back, high to low plank. Nice, inhale, upward facing dog. Drop those knees to the floor now. Send the hips back into your heels, find child's pose. Lovely job, forehead down. I'll give you five rounds of breath, just to let everything settle and then we'll take a water break. And at this moment, just check in with yourself. Check in with your mood, your energy. Letting go of the day and focusing on your time on your mat right now. Good, two more rounds of breath. Learn to become more connected to your body, intuitive with your body and how you feel. Remember looking after your body starts with simply moving your body as well. Good, slowly lift the chin, look up. You're welcome to stay in child's pose everybody, or Take a little water break. Whew. Hope we're all doing well. Nice job. Once we've got some water, just give yourself a little bit of shake down. Draw those knees together and then slowly come onto your bottom. Getting ready for a bit of core. Okay. So if we sit on our bottom, draw the fleshy part all the way to the back of the room, sit up tall through the spine. Relax the shoulders. And then slowly reach the arms forwards, thumbs pointing up. Start to lower your chest backwards. So kind of like a seesaw. Once you lean back enough so you can float those feet off the floor, find boat pose. Now, if we can't lift the feet off the floor, keep them in the ground, okay? For anyone who's extra flexible and strong in your hip flexors today, extend the legs really long. Good. We're gonna reach the hands to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Sorry, we're gonna exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. In five, 
in four, good, in three, in two, in one, knees into chest, roll down the spine three times. Come all the way up to seated, two, one more, and then cross your ankles, reach towards the front of your mat, four arms down to the ground, chin into chest. If we can't get the forearms down to the floor, just simply reach the arms forwards, tuck that chin in. Good, two more rounds of breath. One more round of breath. Good, lift back up to your boat pose. Nice, press the hands together now, coming into Russian twists, okay, or pianos. Right hand to the right, left, sorry, both hands to the right, both to the left, keep the pressure, Hold hands together, okay? Twisting through the torso, working the obliques, lovely job. Seven, six, five, good, four, three on one. We're gonna roll up and down the spine three times. Two and one, take your hands behind your knees, bend the knees, rolling down and back. Good, in one, come up to seated. In two, nice, in three, cross the ankles. Or arms down or hands to the floor. So what we're doing here is rolling up and down the spine, just massaging the trapezius thrombus muscles, and then we're coming into a nice extension with the spine. Good, chin into chest, two rounds of breath. One more round of breath. Nice work, come back into boat pose. All right, here is the challenge. Arms out, we're gonna lower down, extend the legs slowly in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, inhale, good, in seven, keep going, six, five, look forwards, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one more time, guys, you've got this, seven, six, you know what we're doing now, you can do this, five, four, give yourself a smile, three, Two and one, nice job. Tuck those knees in, roll up and down the spine. And on that third roll, I want you to meet me in standing pose. Use that momentum of the feet to press down into the floor. Take them wide, come all the way up. Whew. Shake out the legs. Good job, everybody. All right, for our knees, just bring the knees together, just slow little circles in one direction. Hopefully feeling nice and connected to the body and then change direction. Good. Take those feet wider than the hip distance, coming into wide leg ragdoll pose. Take two rounds of breath just to release the spine. Tuck the chin into the chest, looking to the back. And then bring the hands to the floor, roll all the way up and shake it out. All right, we'll move it through our Balance posture flow, okay? Starting off with our tree pose, okay? Take the hands out to the side, reach the right leg off the floor. Squeeze it in to begin with. Find that nice stability and focus with your left leg. Gaze at one point in front of you, your drishti, keeping your mouth closed, breathing in and out of your nose. Slowly take the right foot, press it into the inner thigh, the calf or the floor and the ankle. Do not press it into the, the knee joint, okay? We want to take it either into the muscle on the thigh or the calf. Or half on the floor, half on the calf. Find your tree pose. Good. Hands either side, hands in front, or reach the arms up into growing your branches. Good. Now with your standing leg, let's squeeze that kneecap. Okay, breathing here. Soften your shoulders. Maybe roll them up and back. Nice. And five. In three, good. And in one, separate that foot, give it a little shake, squeeze it back into your chest, lifting up. Good, and then slowly step it down to the floor. Good, first side done, everybody, nice job. So as you can see, the transitions are slow. Okay, focus on each, each part of the pose. Okay, let's test the other leg. I'll show you from side on. Take the left leg off the floor. Squeeze it in all the way up and then release the foot. Let it go all floppy, working that nice dorsiflexion. 
Okay, shoulders away from ears. Create that long, tall spine. And then when you're ready, come into tree pose on your right leg. Okay, find that nice connection with the inner thigh. What helps is if the groin is close to, sorry, the heel is close, closer to your groin. Okay, the more angular your thigh will be. Hands to heart center or reach them up. Good, breathe here for five. That one relax the shoulders, the floor. Grip the floor with those toes if you're feeling a little uneven for three. Good, two. Good, for one, take the foot away. Don't step it down just yet. Give it a little shake and then come back to standing. Nice job, everybody. All right, we're gonna move into our dancer's pose, okay? So give it a go. It's all about counterbalance. So the further you lean and hinge with your hips, the further back you can reach the leg up, hopefully. We've worked into our hip flexors already. So enjoy this balance challenge, okay? Dancer's pose. Starting off with our right leg, let's squeeze it behind us. Grab the inside arch of your foot. If that feels comfortable, you're gonna stay here. If not, grab the outside arch of your foot. Kiss the knees together. Find that balance, reach the left arm up so the opposite arm is reaching high. If this is enough of a challenge, just stay here. Otherwise, take an inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, begin to hinge at your hips. Notice that knee is lifting as you go. Take a pause when you're ready, take an inhale. Now your next exhale, I want to kick into your hands so the knee lifts, reach further, thumb pointing up in five. In four, keep it going. In three, stay stable with that left leg. The further you kick into the hand, the further you can reach forwards. In two, if you come out of the pose, come back in. In one, slowly move back through center and then step the foot down. Whew, nice job. Other side. I'll show you from the front on this time. So we're gonna work into that left foot. Take it behind you again, grab the outside, sorry, the inside arch of your preference, or the outside if you need to find a bit more space with the shoulder. Kiss those knees together, simply means squeeze through the inner thighs. Nice, reach that right arm to the ceiling. Take an inhale. Good, exhale, hinge forwards. Hopefully that leg behind me is gonna vanish. From here, find that stable pose with the right leg. Inhale, exhale, kick into that hand behind you. Reach forwards, kick, reach towards me and kick. Good, in five, in four. Nice, everybody, in three. If you come out, come back in, in two. Lovely, in one, come back to center. Nice job. Bring the hands to the hips, just gently circle. Two to the right and then two to the left. Now, if you quickly reflect over dancers, you may have a preferred side or a stronger side. Okay, we'll practice it again in our other classes and see how we get on, see how we improve. Shake out the legs. Nice job, everyone. Take an inhale, reach up to the ceiling, Tadasana. Exhale, fold through heart center, Uttanasana. Hands to the ground, bend the knees if you need to. And then from here, I want you to bend the knees. Prepare for our chair pose. Okay, so bend into the knees, imagine you're sitting back, then reach the arms up. Keep those legs bent. Now gaze down at your big toe. Hopefully you can actually see all 10 toes, okay? Lift the chin, now notice your tailbone, tuck it inward. Good, lift up the arms a little bit higher so they're in line with your ears. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring the hands back to the chest, heart center. Inhale, lean forwards. Coming into a nice juicy twist, left elbow to outside of right knee. Good, again, try to find that nice parallel position with the hands, push them away from the chest, look over the right shoulder in three. Breathing in, breathing out, sit a little lower in two. Good, on one, let's open the arms up. Wing those arms wide, lovely, look up to the ceiling. Bring your hands back to heart center, inhale. Exhale, dive forwards, lengthen the legs, Take them feet distance or hips distance apart. Coming into gorilla wrap, right hand under right foot, left hand under left foot. Again, if you need to bend your knees so you can come into gorilla wrap, 
Bend the knees, chest close to the thighs, chin tucked in. And here they say with your toes, if you can kind of massage your wrists, okay? Also, if you float the weight from right to left, keeping that nice balance going. Just give that a go. And that nice connection. And then just as you practice gorilla wrap, try to straighten the legs and then we bend them. Okay, feel that lovely length through the hamstrings and the lower spine. If it feels comfortable enough to hold here for two more rounds of breath with straight legs, hold it here. One more round of breath. And then untuck the hands. Roll up the spine one vertebrae by one vertebrae. Come to standing, Tadasana, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold through center, exhale, Uttanasana. Exhale, <laughs> inhale, bend your knees, coming into chair pose. Yeah, bring the knees together, toes together, reach the arms up, remember that tailbone, tuck it in, lift the chin, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, showing you from front on, inhale, lean forwards. Exhale, let's lean to the left. So twist to the left, right elbow. Can it hook to the outside of that left knee? Yes, it can. Press the hands together, push them away. Lift the chin, look up in three. Twisting the spine, working digestion. In two, balancing hormones, thyroid. Lots of benefits for the spine as well. In one, inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, fold forwards again. Coming into ragdoll, take the feet hip distance apart. Now in ragdoll, there's many ways to progress with ragdoll, okay? You may start with those knees bent. You may start with the hands on the floor. I want you to work with your breath and your core. So tuck in the chin, try to straighten the legs as much as you can as you inhale, and then exhale, bend. Keep the chest as close to the thighs. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale and bend. Two more counts of breath. Inhale, straighten those legs. Keep the weight even in the middle of the feet. Exhale, bend. Last, more, last round of breath. Inhale, straighten those legs. And then exhale, bend. Take the feet out nice and wide. Toes out, heels in, coming into balasana squat. Good, so the heels are firmly pressed into the floor if possible. If the heels are lifted, don't worry. You get more used to this. As mobility improves, so balasana squat is the aim is to keep the back as flat as you can. Elbows pressing into the inner thighs. And just begin to shift your weight right and left. Nice, in three. Good, everybody, in two. In one. We've always got to have a little bit of a surprising class. So if anyone knows what bakasana is, it is crow pose. We're going to press our hands into the floor. Lift your hips off the ground. Keep the feet on the ground, okay? Aim is to bring the knee to the tricep, okay? Looking forwards. Shifting your weight to the back of your arms. Find that nice connection. Look forwards, look forwards. Once you feel like you've shifted the weight to the torso, to the arms, just begin to take one foot off the floor and then the other. Now I'll tell you what the trick is, is to be looking forwards, keeping the hips as high as you can. When you feel confident, lift one foot and then the other. Try to kiss the toes together. Again, keep the gaze forwards in three, in two, good, in one. And then come all the way onto your back. Nice job, everybody. So lying on our back now. Keeping the feet down on the floor. Just begin to window wipe the knees. Over to the right. And over to the left. Find that nice gentle massage. Should feel really good. Squeeze both knees into your chest. Hugging yourself. Lifting your shoulders off the floor. Good. And then gently unwind. Take the feet back down to the ground. Shoulders back down to the ground as well. You're going to squeeze the right knee into your chest, lift and lengthen your left leg up towards the ceiling. Imagine you're balancing something on your left foot. Hold it here, take an inhale, 
Then as you exhale, send the ankle down to the floor. So our left ankle touches the floor. Keep that right knee squeezing in towards the rib cage. Two pine twists with the right knee. I'm gonna roll that knee over towards the left. Try to keep your shoulders firmly on the ground as we stack the hip and twist the spine. We're trying to keep a nice open position. Take the arms nice and wide. Now, whichever side that knee is on, if we're all going with my cues with our right knee on the left side, we're gonna to look to the opposite side. And just start to close your eyes, soften every muscle in the body here. A very grounding pose. Twist, twisting, rinsing the body. Settling the breath down and letting, allowing our heart rate and blood pressure to come to its baseline. Maybe you're beginning to hear the tummy rumble. Good, one more round of breath and supine twist. And then gently come back to center, squeeze the knees in towards the chest, nice and, nice and tight, maybe lift the shoulders off the floor, look over your knees. Good job, everybody. And then relax the shoulders back down. Other side, extend and lengthen your right leg. Flex the toes towards you. Good, relax your shoulders. Then when you're ready, drop the right foot to the floor. Keep that left knee tucked in. Squeeze it in, find that hip compression. And then when you're ready, supine twist with the left knee over the body or over the, the spine towards the right. Keep those shoulders pressed as close to the ground as possible. Look to the left, opening up that heart space. Keep that breath nice and steady in and out of the nose, ujjayi breathing. If you're practicing with a partner next to you, try not to fidget or distract each other. <laughs> as fun as that may be, let everything settle down. To help calm the body, close the eyes, breathe in and out of the nose. And then slowly come back to center, give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Final pose, we're gonna lengthen the legs both together, lift them up, flex the feet, hands to your side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the ankles to the floor, but if your lower back stays pressed into the floor only, if your lower back is a little bit weak or your core needs a bit more work, bend the knees and drop the ankles down, okay? So really important we keep that support in the spine Take an inhale here, look at your toes. And as you exhale, start to relax and lower the ankles all the way down. Feel that core strength here, take your time. If you begin to shake, that's a good sign. <laughs> and then once the ankles touch the floor, take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and exhale the breath out through the mouth. Imagine you're deflating the body, letting go of the day, letting go of the practice. Take an inhale one more time through the nose. Exhale the breath out through the mouth. And then begin to seal the lips, staying in a nice, relaxed, calm Shavasana pose. Shavasana is all about stillness and patience with your body and connection with your breath. And then just start to feel all those lovely sensations, blood flow, endorphins, traveling around the body. Try not to fidget here. Try to be still and relaxed, starting with the face. So relax all the muscles in your face, your cheekbones, your forehead, your ears, your jaw. Moving down the neck, relax the neck, your shoulders. Relaxing your chest. Your biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers. Relax your upper back, your mid back, your lower back, your hip. 
Relax your bottom muscles, your glutes. Relax your core muscles. Relax your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your, elbow, your kneecaps, your calf muscles, your ankles, the soles of your feet and your toes. Let all the tension ease out the body, any stiffness trickle away, melt away. Practicing stillness, relaxation. Practicing our Shavasana at the end of our session this evening helps to build muscle memory, connection with our body. And the gentle meditation to seal the end of our session. We often tense and hold on to a lot of tension in our jaw. So let all the muscles in the jaw go. Separate the two layers of your teeth. If you find Shavasana really tricky, you don't like closing your eyes, just stay nice and still. Imagine it's before the morning alarm goes off, you want to savor every second that you can in stillness and in comfort. Tune in with your body, a few more rounds of breath. And then begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, nod your head left and right. Start to take deeper breaths in and out of your nose. And then when you're ready, roll over to your right side, coming into fetal position, cradling your head, stacking your hips and your shoulders. Getting ready to re reawaken, moving into the rest of your evening. Taking your time, take an inhale, come up to a nice seated position. Keep your eyes closed if you feel comfortable, otherwise you can blink them open, sitting in a nice cross-legged position, all back onto your heels. Hands on the knees, we're gonna roll the shoulders up as you inhale. As you exhale, roll them down and back. Good, two more times, sit tall through the spine, everybody. Inhale, lift up as high as you can to those ears. Exhale, roll back and down. Keep your chin parallel to the floor. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, roll back and down. Good, keep your eyes closed if you like. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you all for joining. Practice the movement. Sophie, it's such a pleasure to help you move, flow and grow. Namaste, everybody.